Hi guys, this is Virag from Bionic Bus and tonight we are in the heart of Hollywood in the TLC theaters. This is the red carpet of the 7000 miles. Please stay with us and stay tuned. And you are an actress and two time uh, pre, uh, pre time Emmy nominated and Golden Globe nominated. So what does it mean for you to be here tonight? Well, we're very excited whenever you have a labor of love. It's wonderful to get to see it for the first time with an audience full of people. And this was uh, something we shot together and so much of the cast and crew are here tonight. So it was sort of a reunion. And uh, to be able to see it on a big screen, we're, we're really looking forward to it. And to be part of this festival, it was a, a real tribute to women, creative women. It was almost an entirely female crew. And uh, with the exception of our wonderful DP, Jim Moore, who is here tonight and is amazingly talented. But very few men were involved. It was mostly women, and we lived together and worked together in Hawaii and, and had a marvelous time with a very small budget and I think making a really lovely movie. And you mentioned this, that a lot of uh, women involved to create this movie. Uh, do you think, because there is a lot of conversation about it in Hollywood, that uh, women are still underrepresented in Hollywood. Is it getting better? I hope it's getting better. Um, you know, right now we're in the midst of this writer's strike, and the actors, I hope, will go out with the writers in solidarity, because it's important that everyone in this business gets to make a living wage. Uh, in terms of, of women and empowerment, I think it's happening slowly but surely. And I love films where the leads are women. And when they do well, you realize that people actually are interested in watching stories about women. I think what sometimes what studios and uh, the powers that be forget that people like to see themselves represented on the screen. And we have more women than men in this country, and particularly women of a certain age, with all the baby boomers who are coming of age. And to tell their stories, there's, a, there's an important niche for that. Yeah. And the movie is about uh, a pilot, and uh, we didn't have a chance to watch the movie yet, obviously, because this is a premiere night. So uh, what is your role in the movie? So a young woman, uh, Jo, who's played by Lexi Dove, finds out her grandfather in Hawaii has died and she goes back to Hawaii for the funeral and realizes that her grandmother is starting to show signs of dementia. I play the grandmother. Um, and in the course of it, she starts to piece together some strange, unusual things that, that are coming out in her, mother, in her grandmother's memory. And it's a possibility that her grandmother maybe Amelia Earhart. At least she thinks she was. So it's that thing of, is this something that's delusional or did it actually happen? Did she crash and get saved and end up living her life on a small island in a remote part of Hawaii? Uh, so it's a sort of a mystery in a way, and, uh, but about two very accomplished women who are trying to realize a dream at a time when people were standing in their way. I heard that uh, the shooting time was about 18 days in Hawaii. What was your favorite moment? Uh, I have to say, living on the set. We lived in the house we shot in, and they gave me an option of living in a house or staying on set, and I said, I think I'd like to be on the set. And I'm so happy I did. So we'd wake up in the morning, I'd make bullets for everyone, you know, those little smoothies and hard-boiled eggs and toast and coffee. And at night we'd get together and have martinis after the day's shooting. So, you know, a bunch of us were living in the house, shooting in the house, working in the house, and it was... Uh, kind of like going back to college, you know, and uh, it was just a fabulous experience. Sounds like. So thank you so much for sharing uh, with all of this and congratulations for the movie. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you are the director of the 7000 Miles. Uh, please share us how the whole project started. Well, it all started with the, there are two leads, Wendy Malik and Lexi Dove. Lexi has always been obsessed with Amelia Earhart. She went to the writer, Colette Freeman, and said, what kind of a film could I do? And Colette said, what if Amelia had lived? They brought me that script. I fell in love with it, but as I read it, all I could hear is Wendy Malick. So I called Wendy, who had just been in my last film, The Surrogate, and I said, would you do this? And she read it, and she said, it's pretty scary. It's not in the range of what I normally do. But because of that, absolutely. So when she said yes, I said yes, and so began this all-female journey, telling a female story um, for our young girls. 
As a director, I have to ask you about this because when you also mention it, uh, do you think that uh, in Hollywood uh, the female directors and uh, and actors are still underrepresented? Absolutely, absolutely, and it's it's a it's an old boys club, and and it's it takes doing your own projects and and making. That's why indie films are so important because we are the great equalizer, where we get to tell the stories that we want to tell without a studio system editing us, you know, so I do think so, but I think that the more women tell stories, the more we tell stories about women in their third and fourth chapters of life with female actresses who have gravitas and wisdom behind them, um, the more we start demystifying this notion of telling female stories, female driven stories. Just very quickly, what was the sweetest moment during the shooting and what was the biggest challenge as a director? The sweetest moment was the first day of shooting. Uh, we, part of the Hawaiian tradition is that you begin with a blessing. And Kumahina, who is this beautiful spiritual leader in Hawaii, came and gave us our blessing. And we were all so moved and we all had lays. And she was so wonderful that I wrote her into the film. But that was the sweetest. And the most challenging, um, you know, was doing the, in planes and, and boats without having a whole lot of financing. So we were always, it was always, you know, we, we had to shoot this whole story in 18 days. So that's challenging. But but because we were all so committed to it, we just made it happen. We just pulled through. Did you have a chance to uh, fly the uh, flight? I, di I didn't, but Lexi, the actress, Lexi Dub, she did fly um, for a while. I wouldn't even go up in the plane. Okay, if the truth be told, I have a little fear of flying. But, but, but hey... That's the beauty of storytelling. Well, thank you so much. And if you feel like, please share your social media website with us. I would love to. It's, um, um, it's 7000milesfilm.com. Thank you so much. Thank you and congratulations. My name is Sally Davis and I play Zelda Braverman in 7000 Miles. And my name is David Sheftel and I play Richard in 7000 Miles. <laughs> We don't know much about the movie yet because uh, we're just about to see it. So please share some words about it. Well, it's um, in the 70s. There is a possibility that a very famous pilot might still be alive. And my character is in the beginning of the movie, and she's a little skeptical about female pilots in general. Yes. So that's, that's what my character's about. So uh, I play uh, the lead's fiance in it, and uh, we own the uh, airline together. But it's, a, it's an amazing film. It's a beautiful story about grandmothers and daughters and, and granddaughters, and the production is all female-led, so female writer, female director, female producers, and it was just, we had the best time on yeah, set. Yeah, we and did. we got to shoot in Hawaii, so yeah. nothing better than that. <laughs> so. The outfit, it's like really Hawaiian. Percent. <laughs> yes, indeed. Because I live on Oahu, so, yeah. So did you fly a flight in the movie? Did you really have to fly or no? You know, oh, not, we, no, we me. We didn't, but uh, Lexi, who's our, yeah. Alexandra, who's our leech and, uh, and producer on the film and brought the whole project to yeah, all of us. She's a real pilot. She's a real pilot and she was doing yeah. a lot of her own stunts and her own flying yeah. scenes. It's yeah. pretty amazing. But uh, no, we were, yeah. we were wimps. We stayed on the ground and watched her do it. So. Yeah, this is her, her movie. Yes. I mean, this is amazing that she can fly planes and still be this brilliant actress. How many weeks did you shoot in Hawaii? It was 18 days was the whole shoot, so we mm. worked very, very quickly. And we got to work with the amazing Wendy Malik, who's phenomenal yeah. in the film, yeah. and then uh, our director Amy Glazer Amy is Glazer. just unbelievable. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Was it your first project together? Yes, it was the first yes, time we worked yes, together. Yes, it was. In fact, um, we kind of went a little off script at one point. We did a little improv, and they put that in the movie. Yep. So. <laughs> yeah. But we hope it's not our last film together. We hope to work <laughs> no, together again. Yeah. So. Would be the next question: That are you planning already together to do something together? We can. Yes. Anytime we can work in Hawaii, we will definitely yes, do it. So. Absolutely. And he's such a talent. <laughs> no, Watch you're for so him. Sweet. David so Sheptel. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, thank you so much, and please enjoy this beautiful day, and uh, just share your social media with us if you would like to. Um. Mine is Sally Davis Kaniho. K A N I H O. Sally Davis Kaniho. Yeah. And I'm at David Sheftel on everything. That's S H E F T E L L. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Hi, nice to meet you. I am Virak from Bionic Bus. And please introduce yourself. Who are you? My name is Nazim. And 
I played the role of Bacon in 7,000 Miles. Fantastic. Was it your first movie that you made? Yeah. Okay, so what was your best moment? Did you enjoy to work with all of these beautiful people who are behind you? Yes. What was the best? Um, the best part was when I could like sleep on the couch and everybody was like talking all around me and they picked me up and they took me off of it. Where do you live? Do you live in Hawaii? Yes. How did they find you? Somebody told that, oh, here's a little boy who wants to be in a movie or what was the process? Uh, so I did an audition and, and since I had like this beautiful hair, they're like, oh yeah, that's the kid who, who has nice hair and we should pick him. Was it difficult to play in a movie? Mm, no, it was kind of in the middle. Do you want to continue this work? Would you like to be in more movies now? Yeah. And tell me, how old are you? I'm nine years old. Nine and a half years old, actually. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much and congratulations. Celebrate with all of your cast members. Hi, nice to meet you. You are in a beautiful green tonight. So please share that you came for support or you are part of in the project? Yes, I came for support. It's me, actress Amber Martinez, and I'm really excited to be here tonight. I'm supporting 7,000 Miles. It's supposed to be a film about women empowerment and also about potentially discovering the lost Amelia Earhart, so I thought it was fantastic. Um, I love to support other female actors, as I'm also an actor, because I feel like it's important to support each other. That's how we get projects made, and that's how everything works. What is your next or upcoming project? My next project, actually, um, is coming up on HBO Max, and um, it's called Grey Matter, and I play a psionic prisoner, and it's supposed to be a supernatural thriller. And I have a new movie coming out in December um, called Fight of Fury 2, Annihilation, where I reply my role of the role Roxana. And I'm looking forward to shooting season two of my TV show for Apple. <laughs> Sounds like you have a busy year. A lot, yeah. I'm really going for it this year. <laughs> well, I enjoyed tonight this wonderful event. And, and it's going to be a premiere. So we're going to see a movie. But as you just mentioned, that it's a female, female mostly female-made movie. So... Uh, Thank you so much, and please share your social media again in India. Yeah, guys, you can check me out at, at Amber underscore Martinez underscore official um, on Instagram. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Hi, I'm Virag. Nice to meet you. I am from Bionic Bus. Please uh, share something about yourself first. So introduce yourself a little bit. Of course. My name is Ozzy Nzerbe. I play Royale Hughes on Apple TV Swagger on Apple TV, and I play Jared on Stepmother 3 on Tubi. This all sounds very exciting. What was your favorite one? My favorite one, I'd have to say Swagger, because this is our second season, which is out right now on all Apple streaming platforms. Everybody go watch. And I love the character. I just have to say, I love the character. Share something about your character if uh, people don't know what is the show. My character is a subpar basketball player in the beginning who's always desperate for other people's approval, trying to prove himself, not only battling dyslexia, but an overzealous father. But in this season, you see him kind of come into his own and be more confident and share his basketball knowledge with everybody. When did you start playing, when did you start playing uh, basketball? When you were a child, you already started that? Say again? When did you start playing basketball? Okay. Um, I haven't been a basketball player for long, but they had us a beautiful, amazing train, basketball trainer by the name of Reggie Wallace train all of us and get us all into shape, and I have him to thank for it. Do you have any connection to this movie tonight, or you came to support? I came to support. I came to support. I've watched the trailer over a couple dozen times, and I can't wait to, I can't wait to go and watch. It's about uh, a woman, a female pilot in Hawaii that has to shatter all stereotypes about who and can't fly planes as far as like men or women, like anybody can be a pilot. So I can't wait to go in and watch. What is your upcoming project? Are you still filming or are you waiting for the next one? We, I have a couple projects in the works. I can't really say too much about it yet, but everybody go watch Swagger Season 2. We will, and please share your social media with us. Of course, you guys can find me on Instagram at ZMNY4 Rio, and you can find me on TikTok, I am OZIE. Thank you so much, Jose. Thank you. Hi, nice to meet you. I am Virak from Bionic Bus. Please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Mila Neighbors, and um, I'm a singer, and I'm really excited for the premiere today. <laughs>
Did you came to support? Did you come to support, or did you uh, you have a role in the movie? Um, no, I came to support, um, not in the movie, but um, I'm sure it's gonna be great. <laughs> I'm sure it's gonna be a fantastic movie. So please share something about you. Uh, what is your latest project? What are you working on, or what is the upcoming one? Sure. Um, well, I'm currently starting to work on a new song for um, Milan Fashion Week because I'm going in September. So I'm gonna be performing at Fashion Week and. That's what's currently in the works right now. <laughs> yeah, sounds fantastic. So what was your latest project? What did you work in the last year? Um, so I just did a song and a music video collaboration with my friend Annika Rose and um, regarding acting, just projects here and there, um, YouTube series, and um, you know, just keep it moving. So <laughs> You also planning uh, to involve more like, uh, in, you know, in the acting field? Um, yeah, so I love acting. I The first project I did was probably my favorite one I've done so far. I'm 17 right now and I started when I was about 12, but um, hopefully when I turn 18 it's going to be a little different because they tend to cast 18 to play younger, so that's why it's been I've been focusing on music because I have a lot more independent, like independent or creative independence I'd say, but um, I, w I love acting and singing equally, so I'm really excited to get more into acting. Sounds good. And please share your social media with us. Yeah, sure. My Instagram and my TikTok is Mila.Neighbors. Last name is spelled funky, so it's N-A-B-O-U-R-S. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you.